time for another Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing. I actually have both my Ipsy Glam Bag and my Glam Bag Plus box today, so I will film both of those for you. Um, but admittedly, I did already take things out to look at them, so it's not in the pretty pink packaging, so it's not my first impressions of them. Full disclosure, so, um, you know, there is that. But anyway. So, getting into it, this is the Ipsy Glam Bag for July of 2019, obviously enough, but in case you're viewing this in the future, there you go. Uh, here is the bag, it is this cute little vinyl bag with these jungle flowers printed all over it, and with sort of a salmon-y coral color here with the Ipsy tag here, it's one of those soft, kind of bendy tags on them that I love so much. I don't know why I love them so freaking hard when the zipper pulls are that like slightly bendy texture I don't know but I freaking do okay so don't at me here so anyhow um that's what the bag looks like and now let's read the thingy first so we've got July 2019 dive in summer is in full swing let's soak it up with dewy skin beach babe waves Oh, oh, look at that! I have the waves! I have the waves! That was unintentional. They're not as wavy as they were earlier, but you know, they're waves. Um, Beach Babe waves and shimmering, butch proof makeup looks guaranteed to keep those chill poolside vibes going all month long. Hashtag Ipsy Dive In. Let's see here on the back side, we've got see you next month, but before you go on August 2nd, you can add additional products to your August glam bag starting at just $3, but hurry, supplies are limited and only available for, available for 24 hours or until they sell out. And then they have all of the social media links. We've got Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, all at just at Ipsy. If you wanted to follow them and didn't know where, that's where you do it. We have got everything that I got in it that I will be showing you and reading you about them. But first it says, dive in to your five glam bag picks. Here's why we think you'll love them. Remember to review your bag so we can make, make next month even more personalized. So, we're just going to reach right in. Oh, look what my hand just happened to hit first! Of course! Of course! Because I'm me, I would hit the thing with the hemp in it first. So we've got the Hemp's Herbal Body Moisturizer in Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon, which actually smells freaking delicious. I would eat this if it were edible. It smells that good, guys. Like, for freaking real right now. Um... Our skin has never looked, felt, or smelled better thanks to the moisturizing hemp seed oil in this tropical scented body cream. It's also formulated with hydrating pineapple extract and antioxidant loaded honey melon to extra honey melon extract to help moisturize, repair, and soften your skin. Tip: After bathing, slather a generous amount of this moisturizer all over damp skin. Be sure to add a little extra onto areas prone to dryness like your elbows and knees. But you know, Little Miss Me over here, yeah, the, the, the elbows could use it. The knees, negligible, but the elbows, they need some help, clearly. So we've got this for hydrating and refreshing, enriched with 100% pure natural hemp seed oil, 2.25 fluid ounces. Directions smooth generously and over your entire body daily. If this were a bigger bottle, I would do just that, but since it's a little bottle, I'll have to probably just settle for, like, the arms with it, but, oh my god, guys, it smells so freaking good. Like, pineapple for me is a hit-or-miss kind of a scent, because if it's a sweet pineapple, I freaking adore it, but if it's a sour pineapple, I want, like, nothing to do with it, but this is sweet pineapple, so I'm like, Yes! Um, but the melon part of it... Oh. It's negligible if it's honeydew or if it's cantaloupe, but either way, it smells freaking heavenly. This, I would 110% buy the full size of. I don't care how much it costs, I will probably be buying it because it smells that damn good. So, there's that as my first product. We're four and a half minutes in, I've only covered one product, so let's keep going. So next thing we've got eyeliner, which, as we can see, I love, but that's not what I'm wearing today. This is just Avon Glimmer Sticks, but um, this is the Mellow Cosmetics, which previously till now, I've gotten two lipsticks from them before. So Mellow Cosmetics Precision Pen Eyeliner in Black. This is the first eyeliner I've gotten from them, so we'll see how it does. 
and frankly it's a good timing for it to show up because my last eyeliner pen just freaking died earlier this week so perfect timing really glad I don't have to buy another one because I got one right here that's full size so anyways from thick flicks to thin wings the precise felt tip on this liner makes getting any eye look really simple worried about heat and humidity don't sweat it the wear lot the long wear <laughs> the wear longing <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Can we tell I've been drinking? I've been drinking. I had two glasses of wine right before filming this. Uh, don't sweat it. The long wearing formula dries quickly and won't smudge or transfer. Tip to get a subtle cat eye, trace a thin line starting at the inner corner of your upper lash line, gradually thickening it towards the outer corner of your eye. Wing it up and out. I know that's how you're supposed to do it. I started about the halfway point, work my way out, work my way back in, smooth it out, and then do a cat eye. That's just me. You guys do what you freaking want, but I like the bold look. That's how I personally get it. But again, that's just me. You guys do you, I'll do me. So anyways, that's this. Totally cannot wait to wear it. Really stoked. And I'm glad that it's black because that is, you guys know, you have seen me on this channel. Usually my go-to eyeliner color is black. If I do colored liner, I generally only wear it on the upper lid because I'm being too lazy to put on eyeshadow or anything, but if I'm doing like full-on top and bottom eyeliner, it's black. That is what I do. So then we have got, where is this? Where is it? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, it looked different on the thing than in the box. I was like, I don't see it. Oh wait, yes I do. So this is the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Curling Mascara. It's in black, again, because go-to here. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Super Curling and Lifting Mascara. 97% said it visibly lifts lashes. 87% said it gives long-lasting curl. 94% said it I or said eyes look more wide open. Consumer panel survey on 31 women after four weeks. That's not very many women, so I mean, just saying. Um, let's see here. It's a roller for your lashes. So straight. Dream curl. Wait, so which is it? What? Hook and roll, brush patent pending, hook design, and position catches, lifts, and curls. Okay, <laughs> um, hopefully it will be good. Let's read what it says on here about it. Benefit Cosmetics creates so many beloved balm products like this curling mascara. The unique hook and roll brush grabs, separates, lifts, and curls, while the instant curve setting formula conditions your lashes and stays put for 12 hours. Can't wait to make a splash? Go ahead, it's also water resistant. Perfect! They finally freaking sent me one that's water resistant! That's all I ask for in life, because chronic allergies, I need that. Desperately. Otherwise, I look like a raccoon, even without the eyeliner on, so. Tip, gently wiggle the wand from base of your lashes to the tip. Okay, and then I also got, I think this may be the last of, wait, nope, it's not, okay. Two products left. So this is the Chiate, or Chiate, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I pronounce it Chiate, but it may be Ciate or Chiate, London, Glow 2 Highlighter in Moon Dust. So, add a gentle sweep across your cheekbones, brow bones, and where the light would naturally hit your face for a soft natural glow or a layer for an intense shimmer. Well, it's not what I have on today, but clearly I am wearing some, and I am digging every moment of it. Uh, I'm wearing the, um, where is it? this guy again so this is what I've been wearing lately when I've had um, highlighter on I'm finally starting to make a visible dent in one spot on it even though I've been wearing a ton of it so I'm like this shit lasts a long time this is the Ofra highlighter star island because I know some of you have been asking what I've been wearing this is what I've been wearing just so you know uh, I did get it from Ipsy just full disclosure but this is a different one that I'm also equally excited to wear and try out and the color looks like this so I mean it'll be a darker highlighter but I'm also still excited to see how it's gonna look uh, it's probably not gonna be as shiny but we'll see how this ends up looking on me so 
What does it say? Kyote is best known for innovative formulas, and this illuminating powder is no exception. It's made with tiny, sphere-shaped particles that capture and reflect light for out-of-this-world radiance. The best part? It's lightweight, silky smooth, very buildable, and blends like a dream. Tip! Using a fluffy brush, sweep onto the high points of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. Well, when I put this on, I definitely forgot the forehead, the cupid's bow, and I think that's it. But I think I got everything else, though. So, I mean, just saying. Just saying. I wasn't sure about the forehead. I considered it, but then I was like, mm, I don't know where on the forehead to put it. I don't want to put it just foomp across the whole thing. That seems excessive, but I mean... One of these days, we all know I'm gonna do it, just to see how it looks. I think I will probably skip the Cupid's bow thing, though, just because I don't want to be inhaling the dust from it. Uh, I'm a little... I mean, I'm nervous enough just having it on my nose, but... Weirdly, as huge as my nose is, I totally thought it was gonna make it look 10 million times bigger putting it on my nose, but I feel like it actually makes my nose look smaller, so I'm like, ah! Maybe not by much, but I was like, you know what? It'll either light it up, because we all know it's big, I really don't care. Light it up and own it. Or, it'll make it look smaller, and it happened to be the latter of the two, so, okay. <sighs> anyway, um, finally, last thing in this particular bag, and then I'll go film the box if I've got time tonight. I think I have time tonight. I'm really stoked about this. I'm considering buying the whole palette that it's from. But this is the TheBalm.com Cosmetics Shadow in Ooh La La. And it is the cutest packaging you have ever seen in your life. You have not even seen what I am, like, dying over yet till I open it. But on the front it says, Hot Tea Eyeshadow Mini Warm Shade. It's infused with chamomile! And then it has it in French from the other girl. But it's shaped like a freaking teacup! You guys know, I do tea reviews on this channel too, so I was like, Holy shit, this is perfect! Oh my god! But, um... Yeah, I definitely want the entire palette this is from. And it has macarons inside of it to look! Look! Just, can we appreciate the cute packaging? I am a sucker for cute packaging. This is enough to make me want to pay the $36 for the full-size thing. Because I am a sucker. And then there's a second palette for the iced tea ones that I'm also considering buying. And then the black primer. And then the neutral primer. Basically, I'm going to spend 100 bucks on eyeshadow products before I'm done here. But, um, this is so freaking cute. I think this is a color literally everyone on the planet could wear. It's a little more nude than I normally go for, but, you know, I, I'm willing to try it. Test it out. See what kind of looks I can get with it. Maybe I'll find that I like having a natural look for once instead of being an over-the-top little rainbow girl like Ziggy Stardust. But, I mean, personally, I like my over-the-top rainbow girl thing, but maybe, maybe we'll find out that I like it. Maybe not, but we'll see. Oh, did I read the thing? I don't remember, guys. Tell me. Um, I did not. Okay, cool. I reminded myself. So it says, aside from cool pack or cool creative packaging that screams girl power, the bomb's known for quick fix products that are easy on your wallet. Unless you're me and you're poor. A beautiful matte taupe color that lasts for hours. This versatile shade can be worn wet or dry. Wait, it can be worn wet? Okay. Wet or dry all over your lids or as an eyeliner when wet. Tip, use a fluffy eyebrow brush. Sorry. Eyeshadow brush to blend ooh la la all over your lids and into your eye crease. Hmm. I'm like imagining this right now. I'm looking at this color. Feels like it's kind of like... Not that far off from my hair color, so I mean, it's probably gonna look fine on me, but at the same time, I'm just like, give me bright colors, Devin, I want to be a rainbow! But, okay. I need to not drink before I film, I'm so sorry. But anyway, I mean, I have brown eyes. It's kind of gonna just blend into a sea of mousy brown here, I feel like, but... There's gotta be a creative wear way to wear brown, neutral eyeshadow shades, right? Tell me in the comments. Ways to brighten it up and make it look more creative. So anyhow, that's what I got in my normal Ipsy Glam Bag for this month. I, again, have my Glam Bag Plus block, uh, Blocks? <laughs> Try that again. Glam Bag Plus Box. Say that three times fast, even sober. I bet you can't do it. Um, 
Or at least I can't do it. But, I mean, anyhow, um, I can't even do it one time, but anyhow. You guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. What was your favorite thing that I got in this bag? What did you get in your Ipsy bag this month? I want to know. Did you make a video? I want to see it. Link it down below or tell me to just go check out your channel because it's there. Or if you have it on another social media site, let me know where it is because I'd like to see what you got or hear what you got or anything about anything at all because I like to hear from you guys. So anyways, um, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Instagram, my Twitter, my uh, Etsy, yeah, it took me a second there, um, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So, anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.